We're so cooked, dude. We're so fucking cooked. We're so done. We're so done for this. I don't know to be happy or to be fucking utterly disheartened because of how fucked we are, dude. <laughs> Oh, Trump just let Elon Musk make a fucking government office position called Department of Government Efficiency. Get it? Because it spells Doge. D-O-G-E. Get it, guys? It's Doge. The funny dog, guys. Isn't Elon Musk so hip and popular and up to times? It's Doge, guys. Dogecoin. Remember that? How funny that is? Isn't that fucking hilarious? Laugh with him, guys. Laugh with him. It's Doge. It's so funny. Department of Government Efficiency. Oh, my, holy based. Holy based. Oh, oh, I'm soy jacking. Oh, my God. My, my Lord and Savior, Elon Musk, the fat fuck that he is. Oh, my. Oh, oh. it's so stupid. Like, I don't know, like, I don't know if people understand how stupid that is because that will become a meme immediately, not because they're laughing with him, but they're laughing at him. That right away loses so much PR for the country of America than it already has, right? Trump wants to make America great again by, like, doing all this shit, right? Having a bunch of, like, alt-right grifters, you know, praising him and then a bunch of like uh like conservatives and neo conservatives like backing him and then like in his cabinet he has his sons and all this other stuff like basically just the fucking bush royal administration again and like oh all this other shit right but that then working with Elon Musk right a guy who need I remind you has so many failed businesses than actual like, good businesses that have actually done anything, right? Let's think. PayPal, SpaceX, uh, fucking, uh, Tesla, right? Okay, great. Fucking Tesla is currently abusing children for cobalt mining, right? Okay, great. And then there's, what, SpaceX? Okay, that's barely anything. He's just a figurehead. He doesn't... People like to say these, yo, he's... The Tony Stark of our era. No, the fuck he isn't. He just knows how to buy shit and get the banks to back his purchases and then just doesn't do anything else. Maybe he funds them, but he's not in there scratching away at fucking calculations and blueprints trying to make sure they're all good and all this other shit. No. He literally sits back with his fat fucking inflated tummy slapping away like a stupid little eel seal whatever like and goes to like the launches and everything right that's exactly what jeff bezos does too but what else do you expect from these bourgeoisie motherfuckers who just sit at the top and reap the benefits of their employees that's all you get is these people that say they have all this stuff right they do all of this stuff but they're not actually doing anything, right? He's going to be the director of Department of in Government Efficiency or whatever the fuck. Okay, what? He's going to run it like Twitter, run it into the ground, have it be filled with a bunch of fascists and Nazis? Spoiler alert, Elon. The White House is already filled with fucking Nazis and fascists. The call is coming from inside the building. It's already there. I don't give a fuck if how many people are actually mad at me for this video. If you're like an Elon stan or whatever, you need to grow up and start learning exactly what kind of guy Elon Musk is and exactly what kind of guy Trump is. But then again, this isn't a lesser of two evils for you. This is the people that benefit you the most. How you garner the most privilege under his administration, right? Whether that be by betraying your class, the people around you, the everyday worker, or, you know, anyone that's around you that isn't part of the 1%, right? This even so far extends to, like, the doctors and so on and so forth. Because 
by backing someone like Trump, even if doctors are considered white collar, they're not a part of the elite, even no matter how much money they make. They are still being victims of people like Trump because they want to put in things that will allow doctors to be prosecuted for doing things like abortions or healthcare or transitions or fucking anything, right? And even if you think, which is the dumbest shit ever, that, oh, well, a consenting adult shouldn't be able to mutilate their body or whatever the fuck, right? That doesn't matter because under this administration, anyone can possibly call out a doctor just because they didn't do something that they wanted it to, right? Or they can do it through scams, right? They're like, oh, well, I, got, I went in for a knee surgery, like the Blue Grinch, and uh, I didn't get healthy enough in in three weeks. I Instead, it was five weeks and something like that, right? Oh, well, okay, there goes the doctor getting arrested, right? And there are some people out there that think that Trump's administration will just be a bunch of bullshit, right? They won't actually do anything. It, he won't keep all of his promises or stuff like that. Considering the fact that he has already day one said that he is going to allow immunity with the police of all actions, no matter what it is, that should tell you the path that he is trying to take to ensure that his America is as fascistic as possible. Even if you, you're like, oh, it's not, he's not a fascist. He's, he's a good guy. No, he's not a good guy. Two, yes, it is fascism because it is literally meeting the definition of it by allowing a police state to form, a surveillance state to continue to be observing its people and its populace. And three, allowing the divide between the rich and the poor to continue to grow where right or might makes right and also enforcing things like uh like ethnicity being enforced for certain people of certain ethnicities to have certain power right that is fascistic that is why there are these trump states that like outright elected him that are now saying mm, interracial marriage isn't a good thing actually uh or so on and all these other things right there is so many cases that are being coming out ever since trump got elected that show that not only are these red states becoming the fucking worst but the blue states are as well because you have these so-called Democrats, right? These so-called leftists, these so-called whatever that aren't actually anything like that. They're just liberals or neoliberals or libertarians, right? That or even rad libs that just spew a bunch of shit. And they are now saying like, you know what? I don't care about all of these issues. Uh, oh, what is that? Mm, I uh, An article is suddenly spreading around that said 93 of Native Americans actually voted for Trump. Maybe we didn't finish the job. Or, oh, Palestinians? Well, they didn't vote in Kamala, so they deserve what they get, right? That's some bullshit. It, it is exactly one of those things where both sides are as bad. And in the election, there was no lesser two evils. It was just the evil that affected you less, right? And that's exactly what it is here. That's exactly what it is. That's exactly some of the stuff that I've heard from certain Republicans say. They thought that the lesser of two evils between Trump and Kamala was Trump. But again, it wasn't the lesser of two evils. It was the evil that affected them less because they would garner more privilege under him. They would garner more benefits under him in spite of the fact that everyone around them would be in squalor, would be in... Uh, impoverished or disenfranchised and so many other things right that's the reason why that whenever people talk about um the bad side or things like men being evil or so obviously not all men but whenever you look at the election and you see that 73 percent of the people that voted for trump were white men and like most of the people that were there weren't like the people that voted for Kamala were in the minority, like minorities and so on. I don't know. The shoe fits, right? 
anyway, uh, that's that's about it. I that's all the rambling I have. I I don't want to say that we're fucked, but at the same time, I want to say that we are because one, Trump might just be an idiot, might not do anything for four years, except for empower fascists, but not actually have anything happen. Or two, it's going to get real fucking ugly, real mean, real quick. Um, but then again, that's where it gets fun. So, yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, if you want to support me, I have a Patreon down below. As well as $2.50 a month, you can also join for free. Um, you'll get a monthly shout-out. Other than that, there's a cash app too. Like, comment, subscribe. Anyone out there that's like, oh, you're dumb, you're just going to get caught by the auto mod. Don't waste both of our times. Yeah, see ya.